They call it the Gigabyte Aero 16X, and in this video, let's unbox it. This is a brand new redesigned chassis for 2025. I had a chance to get my hands on it at CES, but I'm really excited to have it here in the studio. Check out the packaging and see what this thing is capable of being benchmarked as well. Now we're gonna go ahead and pull the charger out of the box. We have a 150 watt charger block here. And this is gonna come with either the RTX 5060 or 5070. So laptops coming out of the box. Keep in mind right now, at the recording of this video, the Gigabyte Aero 16X is on sale. And so if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability, when you're watching this video, you can head down in the description below, click those links. If you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now, what do these laptops come with as far as spec out? Uh, 2560 by 1600 display, Ryzen instead of Intel. I like that. I think it's a cool touch this year that they're introducing some devices because in the past, we've seen just a lot of Intel out of Gigabyte. So we have a Ryzen AI7 350, one terabyte SSD, 32 gigs of RAM, which we will find out later in the video if that is upgradable. We'll pull off the bottom cover and check that out. And we have the RTX 5060 or the 5070. And you can see there's about a $200 difference between the 5060 and the 5070. Great price point. I personally think for these RTX 5060 and 5070 devices, I've seen them priced higher in other models, not models. I've seen them priced higher in other manufacturers. And so it's cool to see in the, at the launch having such great price point. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and pull the laptop out of the box and out of the sleeve. There is the new design. Really digging the elements of iridescence on the top cover. You can see there, nice little iridescent gigabyte logo. Nice bright aluminum. It almost looks white, but it's actually a silver color. So see, we get it there. And then we'll get it on the top camera as well. There's where you can see like that really nice silver, but it's a bright silver color. We have aluminum top cover, aluminum bottom cover, plastic side panels, and then a plastic back kind of ledge here. Now, one thing I noticed right off the bat with these Gigabyte models is that we do not have ports along the back side. The ports are gonna be found on the left side panel. We have the power adapter, network port, HDMI, USB-A, and USB-C, and then flip over to the right side, two USB-As, and a headphone jack. Uh, now, what I wanna look at here is the assembly bottom cover. So you can see this has a pretty 90 degree angle on the aluminum piece, but this plastic bezel has a nice curvature on it. And so you can see here from the top camera as I pull this around, nice curvature there. And so no catchy edges all the way around. That silver piece kind of cuts in because the hinge is right here, uh, but everything else is looking really good. I, I like the aluminum, nice large vent space. However, the vents themselves will just be in these two spots where the fans are. Speaker grills on the bottom of the chassis as well. No speaker grills on the side or top. All right, the next thing we do is open and close the lid with one hand. Go. All right. Okay, can't get too excited about that sneak peek yet. There we go. Open and close it smoothly. Let's go ahead and check out the screen bounce. Stops pretty quickly. And screen wobble. Bit of a screen wobble going on there, but not nothing too crazy. And then let's check the bottom. No, good firm hinge. Uh, now you can see here on the outside, we have the two hinges. Uh, and this is where, uh, if you watch my unboxing of the A16, we only get that 45 degree open on the Aero 16. So you can see here from the side shot, opens up to about that 45 degrees. And that's as far as it'll open with the A16 because the hinges are on top, the laptop will fold out completely flat. Now we do have a webcam along the top bezel. Here's a sample of the webcam so you can see that for yourself. This is the webcam on the Gigabyte Aero 16X and a little sample of the audio for you as well. Uh, now, one thing that I wanted to point out is we have plastic bezels with rubber little rubber feet here at the sides and top. So that's where your screen will actually be making a connection to your keyboard deck. And there's actually two more down here at the bottom. So two, four, six rubber pieces that'll be making connection with your screen and then the plastic bezel. Now, this is a matte display, 2560 by 1600 matte display. 
I absolutely love that because you can see the reflection there. It's more of a mellowed out light source rather than being able to see the exact light source. Uh, if this were in my studio, you'd be able to see my camera with a glossy display. And so I much prefer uh, having matte displays, especially if I'm working by a window or anything of that nature. It makes it much better. Now, let's go ahead before we forget and let's grab a weight and thickness here. Even though this has aluminum top and bottom cover, it still is a very reasonably weighted laptop and a nice thickness. Like I said, they really did a great job redesigning with this form factor this year. Uh, much more premium, minimalist design as compared to the previous Aero designs in the past. All right, now going ahead and filling the keyboard. Nice, quiet keyboard, plastic keycaps, medium key travel. Uh, feels good under my fingers. And then the trackpad, it's gonna be a classic laptop click for the trackpad. So no mellow, dampened click, but I like this size. It's a good, large trackpad. And again, so I'm mainly switching these cameras, so forgive me for not switching that one over a moment ago. But good key travel, nice large trackpad. The arrow keys are here on the side, and then we have the shift keys here, full-size shift keys. And then we can actually jump right into the new Gmate. See, yep, it, you don't even have to hit the function button. Just press the Gmate button right there. And that'll load you into the new software. I really like the new Gmate software. Oh, actually, that drops you into the AI Gmate. Let's go into the actual software. Interesting. Okay, there we go, under the actual software. Let's see what happens. So that's like your little virtual assistant. Yeah, so that jumps you into like the little virtual assistant, helping you manage your computer hardware systems and settings, RGB adjustments, stuff like that. So interesting. We'll close that for now. We have five different modes that we can jump into for different power modes. You can look at the system settings very easily here. You can adjust a lot of different settings in the new Gmate. I think that this is something that stands out to me as much as the redesign is the new command center. The old command center it wasn't as functional as I'd hoped it to be. Now, what I'm really curious about is how well these different modes control the system. Um, that's something that I'm excited to see the improvements that they've made from a software standpoint to get good thermal management, faster export times, um, higher temperatures, maybe some slower export times with better temperatures and quieter fan noise. Those are the types of things that I'm looking to see from the software here in 2025, being that this is a new redesigned uh, interface. I'm wondering if they have uh, improved software developments for monitoring and managing the components inside of the system. Uh, here's a different view of the different scenario profiles here, balance gaming, creator, power saving, and then online meeting mode. And then you have obviously your privacy options here. So a lot of great customization settings in the new Gmate. Now, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead, pull off the bottom cover. If you're curious again about the exact pricing and availability, head down in the description below, click those links. If you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. Go ahead and flip it over. Now, as you get the bottom cover pulled off, you can see we have access to two RAM sticks, 32 gigs of RAM installed, uh, but we just have the one SSD that is going to be a 76 watt hour battery here. Now, if you want to see more about this laptop, definitely subscribe to the channel. Again, links in the description below if you want to check the live pricing or make a purchase. Click or tap the screen here for the latest videos, and I'll see you in the next one.